Hello! This short video will teach you how to set up your RefWorks account for the first time. RefWorks helps you organize and cite sources. After you access RefWorks from the library website, you'll see a login screen like this. Click the blue Use Login from My Institution and choose Judson University from the drop-down menu. Log in with your MyJudson username and password. There will be a couple of other screens that you'll need to complete that this video doesn't show. After you are logged in, you'll see your name in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Click your name and then Settings. Under Database Exports, choose the circle next to Send My Exports to New RefWorks. Next, scroll down and set an alternate password. This is important because RefWorks may need this alternate password to connect to word processing software, such as Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Once that is finished, go back up to your name and click Tools. Click Install Save to RefWorks and then drag and drop the Save to RefWorks button to your internet browser's bookmarks bar. The Save to RefWorks button will help you save items you find on websites. On the bottom of the Tools screen, you'll see information about integrating RefWorks with your word processing software. Setting up this feature of RefWorks will vary depending on your computer and word processor. I'll provide one example at the end of this video, but you can come back to this section under Tools to get more information later. Choosing Library under your name takes you to your RefWorks home screen. Next to Display, toward the right-hand side of the screen, click the drop-down menu that says Normal View. Click on the gear next to Citation View. Click the citation style you will be using under Institutional Styles. If the one you need is not listed as an institutional style, you can search for the style using the search bar. By displaying the citation view format you want, you'll be able to quickly look for and add missing information as you import items into RefWorks. I highly recommend checking for missing citation information as you import items to RefWorks. To add or edit information, click on a citation. A menu will appear on the right. Click the pencil icon to edit the citation. It is much easier to edit citations as you're adding them than to have to add missing details later. When editing a citation, notice how you can upload attachments. You can upload full text documents into RefWorks. However, since you need to have the attachments saved to your computer before you can upload them to RefWorks anyway, you may want to keep the full text saved on your computer and just use RefWorks for managing citations. Regardless, make sure that the full text documents are backed up or saved in a way so that they're still available if something happens to your computer. I also recommend choosing a consistent method of file naming your full text documents. For example, if you save files consistently using something like author last name dash first words and article title dash year, you will be able to easily match up your references to the full text that you saved. Sometimes you'll find a source in which there is no Export to RefWorks button, and the Save to RefWorks button doesn't work either. You can add sources on your own by clicking the Add button and choosing Create New Reference. Create folders to organize your research. You might name the folders by class or topic. You can also add tags, and you can share one of your folders with classmates which is helpful when working on group projects. Once your RefWorks account is set up, you can start exporting records from library resources and websites to it. For example, from Primo, I can click the RefWorks button like this. From an EBSCO database, I would click Export and then Direct Export to RefWorks. Other websites and databases may have similar Export to RefWorks options. From a website, I'd click the Save to RefWorks button, like this. Don't forget to edit the citation right away for accuracy. Once you have some sources saved in RefWorks, 
you can cite them by checking the boxes next to them and clicking Create Bibliography, and then Create Bibliography again. Make sure you're using the citation style you want and click Copy to Clipboard. Paste the bibliography into your paper, project, or assignment. Finally, for the rest of the video, I will explain how to integrate RefWorks with Microsoft Word. This is possible for library patrons using their own personal laptops or computers. Judson faculty and staff members using a Judson-owned laptop or computer must contact Judson's IST department to request this. You cannot configure RefWorks in Microsoft Word on Judson public access computers, such as those in computer labs. Open a blank Microsoft Word document, go to Insert, and then Get Add-ins. Search for RefWorks Citation Manager and choose to add it to Microsoft Word. In my version of Microsoft Word, RefWorks Citation Manager, otherwise known as RCM, shows up as another top-level item. I'd click it and then click the RefWorks Citation Manager button to open the sidebar. Click the three bars. Next to Bibliography, move the toggle button to On. Then, as you type your paper, you can choose the item you want to cite, and it will do the in-text citation and the references list, or bibliography citation too. That's it for this video. Please watch the library's other videos to learn more about library resources and research. Thanks for watching.